Hi guys, quick video to show you how to save time when you're creating your training blocks or your training plans um, using a cool feature that Training Peaks has released in the last few months called recurring uh, entries. This is going to be really handy for people. If you know, for example, you always swim with your club or your athlete always swims your club on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday, rather than have to create it individually or copy and paste it over, you can just create it as a kind of pattern. So Step one in doing that is you just click to add the swim. You'll title it, do, 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 so club swim. And give it the details because this will copy through as well. So there you go. Let's say typically cover two and a half K. Boom, boom, boom. And before you save that, you click on, oops, I need to get this line out of the way. It's this button here. At the moment, it'll default. It does not repeat. If you click on repeat, it gives you some options. Click the slider here. So I know it's a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it's every week. Well, for example, you can do that every, you can do this for every third or fourth week if you're setting up recovery weeks, et cetera. But well, it's a weekly weekly gig. Um, I'm going to, you can set it up for four months in advance. So I'm going to set it up just for three and just say that his last swim then is on 25th click done save and close and with the magic of training peaks they'll build the recurring workouts and see they just populate in there okay so a little worrying thing means it happened you also have the ability to delete them it's very similar to um what you call it an outlook calendar application so you can for example uh delete all of the you can delete all of them at once or um one by one if you have any sort of restrictions so for example i can see here that this is the the day before a sprint race i have lined up so i don't want that there so i'm just going to remove one of them you click on the little hamburger sign you're going to click delete and as it's a recurring event it will give you the option of this event or this and following i just want to get rid of this one so click there and boom that's gone. Okay. Um, as I said, this is a really cool feature for athletes if you're building your own training blocks, for coaches if you're building for uh, for athletes, etc. Um, it should save you a couple of uh, a bit of time each time uh, each when you're going and cre creating stuff. And um, as I said, you can also delete all of them at once, just how that would work. And off they go. Okay, guys, I hope that helps. I hope that will save you a bit of a uh, couple of minutes here and there. Um, please do uh, like if you found this video useful. Um, if you want to hear more training peaks or Garmin or swim, bike, run tips, which I'm going to create, um, just subscribe to the channel and then you get notifications if you want. Um, or leave comments, uh, whether in, in YouTube, what you actually think is useful or will you use this or not, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, guys, have a great week and happy training.